Hi, long time no see. I'm back. I know I haven't uploaded in more than a month, but today we're getting our life together and I'm going to talk about why I haven't been uploading this past month. So I'll just jump into it. The reason that I have not been on here is I got chicken pox. So I have been recovering from that. It definitely took a few weeks. I was out for a while. It wasn't as bad as it could have been and I'm doing significantly better now. I'm like at 100% totally fine now. Today, I wanted to share a really small Trader Joe's haul. I really just picked up things to prep for the week. We could prep all of our meals together. Since I have not been doing any cooking, any cleaning, my husband has been taking over because I have been sick. He luckily did not get chicken pox, it was only me, so that's good. Anyways, I'm going to spend today prepping for lunch. I'm also going to prep some fruits and some veggies, so I'm all set for the week since I haven't been able to keep up with that kind of stuff. So let's jump into it. I know the holidays are right around the corner and we just had the fall holidays, which is so fun. So we're kind of like in between seasons right now. Trader Joe's hasn't come out with a lot of their holiday stuff yet, which is actually kind of good. Like it's a little early, so I'm expecting them to start coming out with those things in the next couple weeks. I'll definitely try a lot of the new things and share some of my favorites since they come in hot with the holiday stuff they come in with so many new items so i'm excited for that but we're kind of in between seasons right now which is great so it's a great time to kind of get on top of our meal prep so i'm going to share what i picked up and then we'll do the prep together and i'll share a little bit more about my past month and what it was like to get chicken pox as an adult since i know it's a lot more serious as an adult when you get chicken pox it was not as bad as it could have been and i'm totally fine but we'll go into that once we do the prep so jumping into it i got some carrots i want to peel these and cut them up so that i can eat them with this dip i got so i want to share my favorite dip that trader joe's has i also got kale since I'm going to be making taco salads, so that's gonna be the main meal prep for my lunches when I go into the office this week. I got a couple berries. I got strawberries. These ones actually look pretty good. I know they're not in season, but they still look really good. So I got strawberries, and then I also got a little pack of raspberries too. So we'll wash those up and get them all prepped so they're really, really easy to eat throughout the week. I got some avocado pouches. These ones are just so quick and easy, and they keep better because they're in a pack of six. So I really like to get these ones because they just are easier to eat for lunches versus like the big pack that turns brown. I always get excited when I see this. This is the Brussels sprout stock. The Brussels sprouts taste so much better when they come on the stock. They only come out during this time of year. So every time I see this come in, I grab one, maybe two, maybe three throughout the season because it's so fun. And I actually had no idea Brussels sprouts grew like this until I saw them at Trader Joe's. And now I just get it every single year. It's part of my seasonal routine. Now, of course, we had to get snacks for Gary. These are a couple of our favorites. This one's the freeze-dried just chicken. And then these are the chicken and bone broth recipe dog treats. These are so tiny and really easy to mix in with his food even. We like to put his food in like these little games that he has. So it's fun to like make some treats in there too since he kind of has to work for his food. And then we also like the salmon and sweet potato recipe. This one's a classic one that Gary loves. Gary loves all treats though. He's really not picky. He's super easy to please. I got some pico de gallo for the taco salad. And then here's my favorite dip that I want to dip carrots in, as well as maybe the Brussels sprouts once they're cooked up. This is the almond chipotle dip, smoky and spicy plant-based dip. I think this is so delicious. It's so good with crackers. It's so good with veggies. I just really like the taste of this one. It's really delicious. I got some taco seasoning from Trader Joe's. This one is not my favorite taco seasoning. I think it's a little too spicy, but I realized I didn't have any taco seasoning. I completely reset our seasoning cabinet. It's looking so beautiful now, but I have a really good idea of what we have and taco seasoning is something we don't have. So grab this because I was there and didn't really have time to make a separate trip somewhere else. We got some Sonora style flour tortillas so that we have an option to do like taco salads or tacos with the wraps. I got a white onion and then I have two sweet potatoes because I like to put sweet potatoes with the taco salad too. I'm gonna start with cooking these sweet potatoes because they take the longest. I think I'm gonna wash them up and throw them in the oven and then they'll cook while we do all the rest of the prep. We just got this new colander from Ikea. My sister actually got this for us and it's perfect. As usual, Gary is at my feet, so if I look like I'm standing awkwardly, that is why. I realized I forgot that I got golden kiwis, and I also do hear him groan. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but he is groaning at me. And then I also have a pound of ground beef. This is the organic. It is getting so expensive. I feel like with meats, we try to get organic because it's just better quality and it's better care for the animals, but it's getting pricey. If we don't eat it that often, it's not too bad. But we got a pound of ground beef. We're going to cook that up for the tacos as well. So while I wash and prep my raspberries, I'm going to share with you what it was like to get chicken pox as an adult. So I did get a chicken pox vaccine when I was young, like in 2006. 
Um, so I had a breakthrough case, which is about like 15 to 20%. So definitely not super rare, but yeah, it was not fun. By the way, these produce keepers, I absolutely love. I will link them down below, but I got them at Costco. So my oven is preheated. So I'm going to pop my sweet potatoes in there for about 50 minutes till they cook through. Now I'm going to prep my kiwis and strawberries. So the reason I even went to the doctor is I had a fever and I had some spots, but they weren't the spots like that you would think are chicken pox. They look like little blisters and that's totally normal. Normal if you're an adult when you're a kid you get like red spots when you have chicken pox and they're super itchy as an adult they looked like little lesions they were like little blisters basically and they hurt but they were not super itchy which was actually kind of nice I had like three or four of them and I had a fever I had a side ache a migraine I thought I had a cold sore but I didn't have a cold sore that was actually a chicken pox in my mouth but it was enough for me to go to urgent care because I just felt really uncomfortable and it happened really suddenly too so I'm finishing up my last strawberries and I I am going to save the last one because I have to pay the little tax to my little helper. Mm -hmm. So I was really lucky. We had a great doctor at Urgent Care who really cared and listened to all of my random symptoms that I had because again, it wasn't really, I didn't have that many spots. I had like three or four. And we did share that we, we did know someone who had shingles and this was weeks ago though. So I didn't think that that really had anything to do with it, but she was like, you know what? Let's test for chicken pox because it looked like that. And she was correct. I did in fact have a chicken pox and it became obvious pretty soon. So right when the test came back, she called me and she's like, yep, you definitely have chicken pox. I had so many more spots by then. They've started popping up all over, especially in my midsection, like my stomach, my back. It just, yeah, blisters were popping up everywhere and it was not fun to say the least. Definitely was uncomfortable, but she got me on medicine right away and that started helping a lot. The like spots started healing right away and my fever went down and everything was feeling great. And I was like, yeah, I'm on the up and up. I only had to take a couple days off work. I'm lucky enough to be able to work remote if I need to. So I only took a couple days off and then I got back to it. And of course, since I could have been so contagious, I just worked from home, which was great and worked perfectly fine. You're gonna see Gary's little head pop up here pretty soon. And that is because he is a carrot fiend. If you've never seen a golden retriever eat a carrot though, you would give them carrots too once you see it. And I will share with you because we I saved that carrot right on the end there. Um, that's for Gary. And so I am going to give it to him and it's good for their teeth. It's really good for their health. So I'm going to give it to them. They like to chew it. It's kind of like a bone kind of in a way. It takes them a little while to chomp through it. So it's really cute and fun to watch them. So please enjoy this puppy ASMR. So now I'm pulling off all those Brussels sprouts off the stock. I realized I started this and I wasn't recording. So there's the second half of it, but it's pretty satisfying to pop these little things off of the stock. So I'm just putting it into this strainer so that I can give them a good rinse since they do need to, a good washing, but it's pretty easy and it is pretty satisfying to take them off the stock. Moving my carrots over and just moving these Brussels sprouts into this container. This is what they look like after they were done cooking because I just cooked them up and cut them in half the other day. But yeah, now we're going to cut the onion. We're just gonna cut a little bit of it though, cause I only like a little bit of white onion on my tacos. But as I continue doing my meal prep, I did wanna share with you why it took me so long to recover. I was feeling so good after three days, feeling so much better. And then I was at a standstill. I felt so much pain still. And so it was okay when I was sitting, but anytime I got up and moved around, it just was still so painful in my midsection. So I think that's the thing that was most discouraging as I thought like, oh, I'm on the up and up, my spots are healing. I'm gonna be able 
to go back to work soon. And I felt like after that, I didn't get better for weeks. I felt like I had a side ache that just would never go away. I had a stomach ache. It was so frustrating. So anyways, after a couple weeks, it did get better and I'm totally fine now. I'm very thankful I got the vaccine, but just thankful that my parents had me get the vaccine because I know it could have been a lot worse. But yeah, I think even though it was fine I, as an adult, it still just knocked me on my butt for a good few weeks, but I did get better and I'm very thankful for that now. Okay, I'm done. I took a break while my sweet potatoes were cooling down because I'm starting to get a pretty bad headache. But I wanted to share everything that we prepped. We got the kale here. We got our Brussels sprouts. I haven't cooked them yet, but I feel like it's gonna be really easy to cook them up. But now that they're washed and clean, we have these delicious golden kiwis. Look at that. It's gonna be so easy to eat now. And then in this one, we have our carrots that I can put in dip. We got our strawberries, raspberries. I have my little bit of chopped white onion for the tacos. And then last but not least, here is the sweet potato. Looks so good. I'm still gonna let it cool before I put it in the fridge. It's steaming still. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so happy that we were able to get all of this done today. I feel like it's gonna make the week so much better. So thank you so much for joining me. Please comment down below if you have gotten chicken pox before and share your experience with me. I'd love to hear it. But thank you for your patience with me this month. I'm so happy to be back. And I'll see you next time. We actually went to Costco today and we did a huge Costco haul because I haven't left the house in like a month. So there were so many things we needed replacements on and there's so many super fun things at Costco right now. So I'm gonna put that video right here. But thanks again, hope you have a great day, bye.